all right guys welcome back to day 11 from day 10 uh, hope you are having a great time learning this video series it has already been 10 days um, so today let's just recap what happened on day 10 on the last day we created uh, this file dialog browse uh, kind of a file dialog or a browse window where you can select just a random file random music file and uh, play it so whenever you press this play button if the file has not been selected it gives us this message box when we press ok ok it's actually printing out this error which we don't want because it, it, we don't need it so I'm just going to remove this uh, print error from here alright and then what happens is when we click on this file open it opens up a file dialog and we can select the file the music file that we want and then we can play it change the volume and do all kind of crazy stuff but one thing that's missing uh, still in this kind of a music player is the status bar so what is the status bar status bar in uh, pycharm you can see is this bottom uh, kind of a line or a bottom bar so this is the menu bar at the top or the toolbar and then at the bottom is the status bar so whenever you hover over something for example this stop button it says stop process in this bottom bar or whenever you go to this pin uh, pin button maybe it says pin active tool window tab so the, the the function of the status bar is to tell what is going on in our uh, software so what i want to do is i want to display a status bar over here and it should say that it's playing music when the music is being played and it should, it should say uh, stop uh, the music stopped uh, when the music is stopped obviously we are going to be doing a lot more things maybe we can add some kind of um, file name also in the status bar but uh, status bar not status bar but we'll see so let's get started by creating this uh, status bar which is pretty simple surprisingly how so easy it is so we're just going to create a variable and we're just going to call it status bar you can call it whatever you want and then uh, we are going to create a label surprisingly we are going to create a label and where do we want this label to appear we want it to appear in a root window and uh, the text should be welcome to melody now there are a couple of things that differentiate a simple text label from a status bar but we'll uh, check that out in a minute but let me just uh, pack this up pack so that it shows in our kinta window and then let me just uh, let me just run it basically just reload it and if you can see it says welcome to melody currently it's kind of the same thing as let's make some noise there is no difference between this label at the top and this label at the bottom now what are some of the things that differentiate a label from a status bar is that this this thing uh, the label is at the bottom all right first of all it's at the bottom and then it has this uh, kind of a uh, area a bar kind of an area at the bottom so for that what we are going to do is we are going to add another parameter to this uh, label and we're just going to type in relief equals to sunken and this is going to give it a kind of a border let me just show it to you by clicking on this reload button so now you can see it has kind of a border around it and it has a sunken kind of a feeling that it has like sunk inside our uh, Kinta window it has it is inside the Kinta window so now it is giving it a more of a status bar feeling but the next thing we need to do is actually stick it at the bottom because status bar is at the bottom and that we are going to do inside this pack function so there's one parameter called site and it requires uh, it can take like four parameters one is stop left right or bottom so obviously we want to stick our status bar at the bottom so we are just going to write b o t o m t o m bottom let's reload it and see what's up now you can see that so this status bar is actually look, starting to look a little bit better uh, even though it's not spanning from left to right but it's at the bottom and it has this sunken kind of a uh, feeling so what we need to do to make sure that it is spanning from left to right is uh, use another parameter inside this uh, pack variable not pack variable inside this pack function and it's called fill not in capital fill equal to capital x all right uh, so what we want is in our kinter window you can imagine this uh, from left to right this is x direction the x axis if you have learned a little bit of maths this from left to right is known as the x axis and from uh, top 
to bottom or from bottom to top basically vertical is known as the y-axis and this horizontal is known as the x-axis so what you want with this variable uh, what we want is this parameter that is fill equals to x is that it should fill all of this x-axis if somehow uh, for some reason we wanted to make it uh, from top to bottom uh, we'll actually write fill equals to y actually let's uh, let me just try this out first so that we know it works all right, so now you can see this uh, status bar is going from left to right. And this is what I love about Python. You can just add a little, little bit of things and it starts to like make a lot of difference and it starts to look good. Uh, before that, I just want to, I, I'm not, I don't know what this will do to Arc Inter window, but I'm just going to like try out fill equals to y just because I'm curious what happens. Uh, oh, nothing is happening. It says nothing is happening probably because there is a lot of objects in between uh, there are a lot of elements in between of this uh, display, stop, and volume. That's why probably nothing is happening. But anyways, uh, let's just make it X. And let me just format this properly by pressing CTRL Alt plus L if you're on PyCharm. This is what I love about PyCharm. By the way, just a random tangent that it has all these cool little tricks. You know that, for example, pressing these uh, combination of buttons automatically formats your code properly. You know, you don't need to like move uh, spaces and stuff. Anyways, uh, let's go back, uh, let's reload it. All right, now it's spanning from left to right. But in status bar, if you notice in PyCharm, when you go to this uh, stop process uh, button, it shows it on the left side. It doesn't show it in the middle or the right hand side. Although we can do it if you want to, but I just want to show it on the left hand side of the skin term window, maybe like over here. For that, we need to use a parameter called anchor. So we want to anchor this text or uh, stick this text on the left hand side of the status bar. So we are going to use another parameter called anchor equal to W. Now, what does this W stands for? It basically stands for uh, west. It's uh, so if you have no idea about directions, the up, this up, for example, this is the center. The up is north. The right is east, the bottom is south, and then the left is west. Uh, that's why we have uh, written it as W because, because we want to move the text inside our uh, status bar towards the left hand side. Uh, that's why we have written W, that is the uh, west. All right, so let's uh, reload it and try it out. Now you can see the welcome to melody text is on the left hand side of the status bar. Now what we want to do is we want to change this text to something else when a music is being played. All right, so for example, if you open up a music, let's say, let's say a classic Ed Sheeran, we open up and we press this play button. Oh, Misty Eye. Okay, I forgot that you can't hear me after pressing the play button. So anyways, I'll stop the music. So whenever we press this play button, we press this uh, stop button, it should say instead of welcome to melody that the music is being played or the music has been stopped. That is a function of the status bar. It gives the status of the software. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to go to this play music, play music function. And then over here we are going to, now the way to edit, this is a label basically. All right. So the way to edit a label, the text inside a label is, uh, I'll just show you instead of telling you how to do it. So the variable name of our status bar over here, you can see is the variable name is status bar. I'm just going to copy it from, from over here. Can't believe I'm just copying up a variable. It's, it's, it's so lazy. Anyway, it's a status bar. And then inside these uh, square brackets, I'm going to write text because I want to change the text. Over here, the second parameter is text, which we want to change. So I'm just going to give it a new text. Inside the status bar text, I'm just going to give it a text of uh, playing music. And uh, when it stops that the music has stopped i want want this text to change to uh, that the music has been stopped so i'm just going to write uh, music stopped pretty simple all right let's reload this and see if our uh, thing is working or not so currently it stays uh, welcome to melody then we open up a file let's say i've and uh, you won't be able to hear anything when I execute this uh, 
welcome to melody and we, i click on this play button you won't be able to hear it but just notice this bottom status bar all right when i uh, press the play button so i'm just going to go to file open i see fire and then i'm going to press this play button and make sure you notice the status bar oh misty eye of the mountain below and when i press the stop button the music stops uh, so now we know that our uh, status bar is kind of working it's it's uh, it's not the most beautiful status bar in the world but it's working it's it's decently working so now what we want to do instead of uh, just uh, writing playing music i want to add something uh, in front of it which actually actually shows you the file name of the music being played because currently our status bar is just saying playing music or stop music so for that we are just going to go to because you remember that our file name with the path is being stored in this variable called file name uh, let me find that file name variable somewhere over here all right it's it's, it's over here so what we want to do is we want to show this in our uh, label text and that is pretty pretty simple you don't really need to do a lot of things you just need to write plus and then you can add a little bit of uh, maybe space and then uh, you can just write file name and that uh, should be enough so let's reload this and when you go to file open mm, it's taking some time i see fire Let's just play button. Oh, misty eye of the mountain. Now you can see it's playing the music and it's showing you the path of the file. But we don't need the whole path over here. We just need this IC file, the name of the file music. So we are going to remove all of this, uh, the rest of the part. So how do we do that? Uh, it's pretty simple. Let's stop the music. Let's say music stopped. And then we need to import something known as OS. All right, we are going to import a project known as OS. So let's go to the first line. I'm going to write import OS. All right. Then we'll go down where we actually are editing the label. And over here, we are just going to write OS dot path name dot base name. Actually, it's not path name. Actually, I think it's just path. Uh, and then base name. I'm going to write file name. And that should be enough to remove the rest of the path. So let me just reload it. And then we'll go to file. Click on open. Uh, select IC fire. Play. Oh. And now you can see that uh, playing music. And then it says 16 IC fire. Let me also just add this dash over here i guess which makes it a little bit better all right guys uh, so this is day 11 and we learned a lot of cool stuff in this video i would have to say um so yeah i really look forward to day 12 where we are going to learn how to pause the music and then unpause the music because in every music player there is a way to pause the music and not just stop the music and then press play on play again uh, so we'll uh, tackle that in the day 12 so i'll see you over there